So welcome to today's video. I'm Gary Wiriawan and today I'm eating here. I'm having a quick early dinner with my family in this uh, cute looking restaurant right here in the countryside near where I live. And today I thought I want to uh, just do a little bit of quick everyday photography in this location. Try to find some things that are interesting for me. Uh, maybe they're not the most beautiful or the perfect things to photograph, but I hope that uh, this can help me to exercise more with my photography and also trying to come up with different kinds of compositions and trying to capture different kinds of photography genre. All right, so let's go with today's video. In terms of camera gear, I'm bringing the GX85 as usual with me with the 20mm f1.7 as my main lens. But I also brought the Olympus 45mm f1.8 and also the Laowa 7.5mm and the 12-32mm Panasonic kit lens. And all of them can fit together into this one single bag. This is the Apaka Go Sling Mini, a sling bag that I usually use to carry my uh, everyday photography gear now an opportunity for street photography 20 millimeter with the gx85 aperture priority uh, i'm at f2 right now i want to keep it fast because the action can happen really quickly so yeah i want to capture that lady over there or that gentleman over there with the motorcycles So another opportunity for street photography over here, those gentlemen right there. Alright, so I think I found a composition over here involving those plantations on the field. I think those are corns, but I don't, I'm not really sure. So if you know what is that uh, thing over there, is it corn or something else, please let me know on the comment down below. Anyway, we are now using the GX85 20mm aperture priority and I'm going to try to use a little bit of this grass area, this plantation and these trees and also that banana tree over there as sort of a foreground for the uh, uh, plants over there. Uh, let's just call it corn for now. So I'm just going to focus on the corn and trying to get a little bit of a tighter composition. It's such a nice day today. The weather is so nice. It's not raining. So yeah, trying to capture like that. Just aperture pri priority. I want to get a little bit more depth of field. So I'm now switching to F4. And yep, looks nice. I'm trying to get a little bit lower just to make sure I can get everything on the frame. Yep. found this uh, sitting area right here quite interesting and I want to use this sort of like a frame for uh, the plants behind the corns behind and I'm just trying to uh, use this as a frame and try to focus on the plant behind so let's try to do that again I'm with the GX85 20 millimeter f1.7 aperture priority I'm at f4 right now so yep I think that kind of works I don't know that let me know in the comment down below what do you think of the picture right now but I'm trying to get a little bit of frame within a frame kind of feel with this sort of picture I'm focusing on the plants on the corns not on the banana trees and use a little bit of the chair I'm going to go back a little bit trying to get something nice nice all right Okay, so we find another potential composition here. Today, I just want to focus more on frame within the frame. Again, I'm with the 20 millimeter f1.7. I'm at f4 aperture priority and I'm trying to employ these leaves and also the tree. And I'm, I just want to focus on those corns over there. So, yes, yeah, something like this maybe. Let's try vertical. Yep, maybe something like that. I think the focal point of this picture is definitely the building over there, but 
you know, this is just everyday photography. This is not meant to be 100% perfect technical photography. But yeah, I hope that you can see what I'm doing with these pictures. Let me know in the comment what do you think of the pictures today. I don't think they're really that good, but it's just sort of a practice for me for just uh, trying to get out every day and try to capture something. Right. I'm trying to capture motorcycle passing by. I'm at shutter priority, 500 of a second, and I just let the ISO to be auto. I'm gonna pre-focus right here. I'm waiting for a motorcycle or a bike to pass by, I'm trying to capture it at the perfect time. Just very quickly, I want to capture this flower thingy right here. I'm not quite sure what kind of flower is that. Maybe you can let me know down in the comment, but I'm trying to do a little bit of bokeh photography of the flower. Yeah, I think it looks nice. Just with the 20mm f2.0 aperture priority, I want more of the greens. Maybe I'll turn this way so you can better see what's on the camera. Focusing on there. Yep, nice. One more time. Yep. I'm gonna back down a little bit. Go a little bit far. Yep, nice. So I saw somebody working on the field right there and I'm trying to capture that guy. I'm at aperture priority, I'm switching to 45mm f1.8, I'm at f2.0, let's try to capture that guy. Nice. Trying to use a little bit of the greens. Try to capture him. Nice. So I want to redo the flower shoots with the uh, 45 millimeter f1.8 and the GX85. So uh, I hope that uh, by using this lens, I can get better bokeh and just overall better background separation I mean subject separation let's try that yep I can fill the frame more with the flowers and that is always interesting for me that's better the winds blowing right now but it doesn't really bother me yep That wraps up today's video so that is all for today's video i hope that this video is interesting and useful for you please comment down below what do you think of today's pictures also i hope that this video uh, will inspire you to go out more often and try to take photographs more often try to exercise with your cameras and lenses wherever you go and also please don't forget to support my channel by liking this video sharing this video and subscribing to my channel thank you and goodbye